Hello, my name is Yonis Vizoglu and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create timers in order to manipulate objects. To get started we are going to go to File, New, Project. This project is Visual Basic Project, Windows Form App. I'm going to name the object appropriately. By Time Control. I'm just going to put uh, one label, a uh, one button. Actually, in fact, I'm going to put two buttons, uh, one label, and one timer. Oops, one timer. Okay, now my label will be here. It is important for you to name the objects appropriately. For this tutorial, I will not. I'm just going to put the label so uh, the labels are, are clear. So I'm just going to call it start time. And that will be stop time. Stop. Time. Uh, this label will read zero. And my timer is called timer one. That's good. It's, it's important for me to know. Uh, the interval I'm going to set it to 1000 milliseconds. 1000 milliseconds is equals to one second. Uh, for uh, a minute, you will put 60,000 milliseconds and uh, for an hour you will put uh, three uh, million six hundred thousand milliseconds okay I'm just gonna double click on the start time and I'm just gonna put here uh, timer one dot start for the stop the time I'm just gonna put here timer one dot stop so this is how I'm going to control the time. I'm going to go to the timer now. I'm going to double click on the timer. I'm going to say to the timer every tick. So every time every time uh, the timer ticks, which means that every time the timer reaches to its interval, which is 1000 milliseconds in this case, it will tick and it will repeat the same uh, procedures. So I'm just going to put here uh, Label one, whoops, label one dot text is plus, whoops, label one dot text is plus equals to one. This will increase uh, the label interval by one every time the time st the time takes, so every second. Uh, and because it's seconds, I'm going to say. I'm going to create an if statement here. If label one dot text is greater than sixty, uh, is greater than um, fifty nine. Sorry, I want my label one dot text to be equals to zero. Okay. So every every time the label one, which is this label, reaches to fifty nine, then it's gonna go back to uh, zero. Let's say it's equals to equals to fifty nine. Okay. Let's start it. So I'm just going to click start. Start the time. One, two, three. Okay. If I stop it, great. Let's change the interval because I don't want to wait here 60 seconds. Let's make it a bit fa go a bit faster. So 100 milliseconds. So let's press start. So once it reaches to 59, it should go back to zero. Okay, that's great. So if I stop it, 
so if I start now you can actually make it go faster if even faster if you wish if I stop if I start stop start stop okay uh, this is how you add in a timer on uh, in Visual Basics and how to control the timer. Uh, like I said before, I'm just going to put some uh, labels here for your information. If you would like to create a clock, an electronic clock, uh, for the minutes, you're going to put 60,000, so 60,000 milliseconds. And for the hour, it's going to be three million six hundred thousand milliseconds for the hour, and for the seconds, like I said before, it's going to be one thousand. Just for the for the people who would like to create a timer, an electronic timer, by using Visual Basics or any other programming language. Okay, I hope you learned something new today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.